DaVinci Resolve for noobs. I recently showed how to get text to rotate around a circle, but what if you wanted that text to move in a different path, like maybe a rectangle? Let me show you how. From the edit page, go up to your media pool, right click, and then choose new fusion composition. Name that whatever you want, let's call it text path, and bring that down into your timeline. Now decide how long you want this to be. You can stretch this out by left clicking on the end and dragging it. And when you have it at your desired length, right click on it and then choose open in fusion page. Now we've got just one media out node here, but let's go up here, grab a text node and bring that down into our node graph region, grab the output and connect it to the media out. Now we've got a blank canvas. With that text node still selected, go up to the upper right inspector and under the text options, let's type something in here. I'm gonna type DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna use control C to copy copy it and control V to paste it a few times so that I have more than enough text. But now it's just moving straight across the screen left to right. I wanna get it to trace the outside of this rectangle. So to do that, swap over to the layout tab and here under layout where it says point, open the drop down menu and go down to path instead. And now you notice when you bring your mouse cursor over your preview window, it goes from being a pointer to a plus sign. Now you can create a path just by left clicking in the preview window and creating a path. I'm gonna click on each corner and then go back up and end right where I started. I can use the size to slightly change the overall layout of this text. And back on the text tab, I'm gonna use the size menu here to get that text to come a little bit closer to touching so that it's a complete rectangle. Now, if you go down to the H or horizontal anchor, you'll see if I move that left and right, the text moves with it and it follows that path. Now I want it to move in the way that it would be readable. So I'm gonna put my playhead all the way back to the beginning and I'm gonna move that H anchor all the way to the right and set a keyframe. Then I'll left click and drag my playhead all the way to the end and I'll move that H anchor all the way back to the left and you'll see it adds another keyframe. Now when I go back to the beginning and I start playing, you'll see that text is going to follow that path. 